1995 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 69 read by PCGS. This coin is in the threshold of numismatic perfection lacking just one point for becoming highest-end gem. Both sides radiate vibrant coppery rose luster accompanied with strong cartwheel effect. Reliefs, meaning the height points of the coin are needle sharp. Pennies struck in 1995 are seldom encountered that fine. This is single finest specimen according to PCGS population, as of December 2023. It ended up selling for $19,202.62 with buyer's fee. Number 4. 1990 Lincoln Cent with no S. Graded as PR69 Red Deep Cameo by PCGS. Essentially flawless and fiery red, this key Lincoln Memorial Cent is a meticulously struck superb gem. Mirrored fields are so deep they appear black under direct light, surrounding frosted, orange-red devices. According to Heritage Auctions, the stippled field texture seen on this scent is characteristic of the NOS proofs. This interesting and rare modern proof variety projects to have a surviving population of fewer than 200 coins, making it a must-have rarity for the serious Lincoln scent collector. It was sold for $19,975. Number 3. 1996 Lincoln Cent in MS69 Red Condition. Excellent modern rarity in terms of grade. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS, most Lincoln Cents minted in the 1990s are very common since they were struck in large quantities. The 1996 P Lincoln Cent is no exception as the mint struck over 6.6 billion examples. Therefore, finding an example in circulation should be far easy. Only examples in MS68 or higher are scarce. This superb gem ended up selling for $20,250 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 1995 Roosevelt Dime Struck with Saint Obvers Die. Graded in Mint State 64 by NGC. An astounding mint error that prior to the 1990s was believed impossible to occur. Only the narrow difference in die diameter between the cent and dime makes it plausible that a busy mint worker could erroneously pair dies of different denominations. Most likely, a press run was made from this die pairing and detected by an inspector, possibly the operator of the mint press. Perhaps the entire batch was melted, aside from the present coin. This satiny near gem displays the characteristics expected of a dime struck with a cent obverse die. The obverse has only a partial rim. In God we trust and the Ellen Liberty are tight against the border. This is because the dime planchet was less in diameter than the cent die. On the dime side, the border displays minor softness of strike, principally on S of AM. This super rare error coin ended up selling for $57,500. Number 1. 1993D Lincoln Cent Struck with Dime Reverse Die. Graded as MS65 read by PCGS. US coins struck with dies of different denominations are extremely rare. According to Heritage Auctions, this lustrous gem shows the characteristics expected of a cent and dime mule. The dime side has a broad, tall rim, since metal was forced into the collar of the dime die by the wider diameter scent die opposite. As a result, the scent side has a soft strike near the rim, since metal in the vicinity flowed into the dime collar. The strike on the devices is normal. The lustrous surfaces are pristine aside from a solitary faint graze above the date. The color is predominantly orange, with shades of fire red and olive green occasionally present. It was sold for $51,750. There you have it, folks. The fascinating tales behind five rare coins from the 1990s that have proven to be hidden gems in the world of numismatics. I hope you enjoyed this journey as much as I did. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things coins.